never gonna look back Cause damn I was built to last You move slow when I move fast Eight teams, eight cities, one winner. Welcome to the Independent Epicenter. I'm your host, The Answer, A-S-C. Invictus Pro Wrestling hosts the Eight City Open, a new kind of trios tournament, Saturday, March 26th. And I'm here to answer any and all questions you may have about the event. With that being said, let's get you informed. We're starting off hot and heavy by talking about the social media championship match. After holding on to the Climb for the Clout briefcase for nearly a year, Mucho Chris Mojo has cashed it in at Love and Let Die to become the second ever social media champion. With the controversy surrounding the way he won the title, Mojo now has the chance to silence his critics and prove that his title victory was not a fluke. This won't be any easy task, as his first title defense will see the self-proclaimed everyone's favorite man crush take on Love Doug. With his near seven foot tall tag partner Ben Bishop by his side, the champion's advantage is definitely in play. But the real life Cupid himself is determined to win the social media championship and prove how strong a broken heart truly is. Right now, let's hear from the champion himself, Mucho Chris Mojo. It's everyone's favorite man crush, hashtag MCM. And doesn't the Invictus Pro Wrestling Social Media Championship look hashtag mucho tremendous around my waist? I took out that big game nerd Leroy at the last show in March 26th in Westville, New Jersey. They have me going up against Love Doug, the human Cupid, what a love nerd. You think you're gonna find love through this social media championship? The only thing you're gonna feel is mucho, mucho dolor. And that's pain for you non-Spanish speaking nerds. So March 26th in Westville, New Jersey, love Doug, you're gonna feel mucho, mucho heartbreak. Beat it, love nerd. Is MCM in for a hashtag mucho tremendous victory or will love prevail to leave the champ in hashtag mucho trouble? There's only one way to find out. Tune in Saturday, March 26th, as Invictus Pro Wrestling presents the 8 City Open. Watch it live on IWTV or head on down to 1030 Delsa Drive, Westville, New Jersey, 08093. Tickets start at $15, doors open at 1 p.m., bell time, 2 p.m. You heard about it at the top of the show. It's the reason why we're tuning in on Saturday the 26th. We can't call this show the 8 City Open without the 8 City Open. Eight teams, eight cities, one winner. A new kind of trios tournament is coming to Westville, New Jersey. Well, right now, let's run down some of these teams that you'll be seeing compete in the tournament. Moses and Jordan Blade join Team Captain, the Hitman for Hire, Mr. Grimm, to represent Team DC. Right off the bat, this is a team to look out for. All bases are covered in the district, from size to mat work to sheer explosivity. Could this well-rounded team bring the win back to the nation's capital? Next, let's take it to the skies, as the Neon Ninja facade will be leading Team Pittsburgh. High Flying is definitely a central focus for this team, with Dynamite Danny Moe also representing the squad. Keep an eye out for Team Buffalo, with a squad of all-around rising stars in Myung J. Lee and Nightmare Factory trainee Hayden Backlund, the team is undeniable. But add in the debuting fan favorite Puff as your team captain, the potential for Team Buffalo is limitless in the 8th City Open. Lastly, for now, NYC is well represented, making their case for the most stacked team. Cashflow Ken Broadway leads his squad as team captain, which alone puts the other seven teams on notice. An interesting inclusion on this team is Big Game Leroy, and one has to wonder where his head is at after losing the social media championship in controversial fashion. One thing is for certain, however, Team NYC has heart, 
And let's hear from the main source of that passion, Jay Bougie. Yes, sir. Yes, indeed. It is your boy, Jay Bougie. And yes, as we all know, I am a part of the team NYC, along with the man, Ken Broadway. If it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. And also, big game, Leroy. Now, I know it's a little different, it's a little awkward being that I'm not teaming up with TakeOver. But when it comes to putting on for the city, who better than your boy? And to the other teams there, uh, especially um, O'Shea Edwards and uh, Moses from STP, I really, really do hope that one of y'all is in the finals against us. I really do. So I can't wait to smack both y'all in the face. Take witness. God bless. And if you thought any of these four teams were favorites to win it all, wait until you hear the other four teams that we have in store for you, including a mystery team that will be revealed right here at the end of the show. The 8 City Open is not the only set of matches happening at the show. You'll be seeing The Whisper make his Invictus Pro Wrestling debut against one half of the outfielders, Weber Hatfield. Both of these men are looking to make an impact in this match, and a win on the 26th will surely help either of these men rise in the ranks of IPW. Regardless of who your money is on, one thing is for sure, you do not want to miss this one. Well, we kept you waiting long enough. Let's run down the four other teams that you'll be seeing at the 8th City Open. Baltimore will be well represented in the tournament with the big bad kaiju O'Shea Edwards taking the role of leadership for the trio. And when you add the likes of the always unpredictable Killian McMurphy and the athletic hoss AK Willis, you want to talk about a threat? The word threat is an understatement for Team Baltimore. Don't count out the team representing New England, an intriguing amalgamation of three individuals who all bring something different to the table. Fresh off of a big win at Love and Let Die, little mean Kathleen is ready to take the competition down to Flavortown, while RJ Root is ready to electrify the whole tournament. And get your checks cashed and dollar bills out because the team from Charm City is captained by Davian, ready to prove that she is not America's sweetheart. Finally, for the announced teams, Philadelphia is about to get big as Big Calix spearheads the Philly team. Big Calix has been chosen by Invictus Pro to champion the city of Philadelphia in a large trios tournament. He has also been chosen to pick his teammates and after going through all his friends, he has chosen two, the first, Shay McCoy, who, the only friend he has that starts with the letter S. Second, Handsome Max Zero, the only friend Calix has that ends his name with a number. Oh, and these two combined with the size of the big boy makes the, the soup swell. I can feel it in my plums, the strength. We have enough power to defeat uh, producer, math check. How many people are in this thing? 24. 24? New plan. We will find batteries to throw at the opponents and someone will get me a list of all of their allergies and we will poison them, winning the whole thing. Yes. Big Calix brings his friends to Invictus Pro on Saturday, where we win and, and win the city of Philadelphia with us. I'm taking the bell home. Here's a knife. Calix gets a big helping hand in this tournament, joined by the himbo himself, handsome Max Zero and Shane McCoy, proving that Philly is well represented in the eight city open. And so we reach the final team. And contrary to what you may assume, a city is not what is being represented in this last spot. Now, I've already announced seven teams so far, and this final trio is very familiar with the number seven. The eighth team, I can confirm, is a very well-known stable here in Invictus Pro Wrestling, a very dangerous stable at that. Say your prayers, IPW faithful, because Sid has arrived. The scene has changed, but the intent remains the same. The face has changed, but the actions remain the same. The city ain't 
tournament. Oh, Invictus. Three rounds, eight teams, 24 performers. And who else should win but sin? By pride. By gluttony. By wrath. By Oscar Wilde. He said the only difference between a sinner and a saint is that every saint has a past and every sinner has a future. And the future is that the eighth city is sin city. <laughs> sin must go. Turning the eight city into sin city, says J.S. Harthorne, who seems more than ready for the eight city open. Throw Dennis Morgan into the mix of things, who is always ready for a fight, and you've got yourself a viable threat in sin. But will PJ Savage be ready for the tournament? We all saw what happened at Love and Let Die in the unsanctioned match. Will sin continue with their struggles at the eight city open? Folks, I can't stress enough that you do not want to miss what Invictus Pro Wrestling has in store for you. A new kind of trios tournament is coming to Westville, New Jersey. The 8 City Open, streaming live on IWTV. And if you're in the New Jersey area, tickets are still available. Be part of this monumental event. Tickets starting at $15, doors open at 1 p.m. and take a seat by 2 p.m. to enjoy the action. Well, that does it for me here in the studio. On behalf of Invictus Pro Wrestling and the Independent Epicenter, I am the answer, ASC, signing off. Thank you for watching, and we will see you right here on Saturday the 26th, no questions asked.